Good day friends of the Enterprise Development Property Fund. Um, this is Nigel coming to you again and for the very last time from the offices of Empire Wealth. Um, I have with me my friend Anton Breitenbach who has been very patient with me over the last couple of days um, as we're recording these uh, few uh, one minute uh, clips um, talking about his 15 proven ways to invest in property without using any of your own money. His book, 15 way, uh, Proven Ways, sorry, let's uh, do that properly, 15provenwaysguide.com, where you can download his book for 200 grand and go through all the 15, all 15 ways in which to raise money for your property portfolio. So we are at the end of this uh, part of the series um, in my 50 by 4 challenge. For those who still don't know, it is me buying 50 properties over 50 days while I'm still 50 for under 50 million rand. Now this challenge is only starting on the 1st of February. Um, even though I'm posting all these videos now, what I'm doing is I'm preparing um, the way in order for me to do the 50 by 4 challenge. Guys, don't jump into something if you haven't prepared. Um, there's a book uh, written by Stephen Covey and one of the seven uh, uh, principles that he writes about is to always start with the end in mind. Knowing where it is you want to go, and then going that uh, planning and getting ready for that journey. So in me getting ready for this journey, I'm sitting with my friend Anthony talking about how to finance these deals if I'm not going to put any money in. So guys, be prepared, um, get ready, because on the 1st of February, when we kickstart this challenge, we want all of you viewers that are, that are following us to do the same. I've got a number of people, our candidates, there are 83 of them, that are going to be following this journey and they each are going to buy a minimum of one property. So um, guys, come and follow us. Um, there's so much to learn um, and uh, right now we want to talk about the last two ways in which to finance your property deals. So Anton, talk to us, talk to us about rent to rent. Absolutely. So the previous one we spoke about was rent to buy. We and I love that one. Yeah. You buy it over after a specific time. Rent to rent is a brilliant method to generate cash flow, right? Um, I would say probably 80% of our clients here at Empire Wealth is they have the ambition and, and the aspiration of becoming full-time property investors. And obviously in order to do that, you need cash flow, right? Correct. Yeah. So the rent to rent model is where you are renting a property from someone yeah. and you're subletting it or you're renting it back out to another tenant yeah. for an increased price or rate and you're capitalizing on the difference. So it typically works well where you take an existing single-use property and you densify it. For example, you might rent a three-bedroom apartment and you might rent out the rooms then at a room rate. Mm -hmm. So effectively, you're putting three tenants into an apartment and each tenant is renting a bedroom. Yeah. Obviously, and then collectively, the rental income would be more than the rental expense that you have. Okay. Um, one of our mutual friends, Robin Booth, who's also mm. last year's uh, Property Investor yeah. of the Year, he is using a rent-to-rent -rent model where he's staying in a beach house for free. Yeah. So basically, he's renting a, a beach house and he's sub letting or renting out the rooms on Airbnb. Yes. And that covers his rental, so he's staying in that property on the beach for free. Correct. So it's also a personal use method, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, another rent-to-rent -rent one which works well is in the commercial space where you can rent a commercial office and you can rent it out as shared office space. Uh, many companies have become very successful at doing that. Um, there's actually a number of applications. One, or Another one is where you're renting a property and you're renting out to students. Mm. Um, some, some pitfalls to watch out for when you're using rent to rent is make sure that your rental agreement doesn't prohibit you from subletting the property on number awesome. one. Yeah. Um, and number two also is if you want to densify the property make sure that you legally can yeah. through the rights of the property, right? Um, I think if you're going to rent a six-bedroom house in an established suburb and put in students, you're probably going to get in trouble from the neighbours. So make sure you've got consent of use of the property as consent of use for yeah. what you want to use it for. And maybe you come across a property that you can rent just at a low rate because it's uh, maybe a distressed seller or a distressed property and you can then also rent it out for more, Fantastic. making a profit. And in terms of putting down a deposit and also covering your holding costs, there are companies out there who now fund deposits mm. as well. So you can actually go and borrow the deposit. So short-term finance. Short-term finance. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. 
All right, fantastic. All right, so the, that's the last of the specifics. Um, then there are some other methods uh, that you could yeah. potentially also use. Talk to us about that. So the other, there's quite a few others. There's um, mezzanine finance, um, there's structured finance, there's um, structured facilities. They get quite complicated and there's more for, for large, very large yeah. transactions. Um, so I think for this conversation, it might be over complicating things a bit. But the biggest thing that I want to say at other is that you can use a multiple combination of these yes. methods, right? Yeah. For example, we spoke about the family one where there's family using family for investment, but the father's to surety. Yeah. Uh, we also spoke about where the, the mother gave the deposit. And, uh, you know, we spoke about a partnerships where guys come together and they use bank finance, right? Yeah. So it's a partnership and a, 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 a VC model as well. So there's different ways in which you can structure it and you can be, get as creative as you want. Mm. Two important things is there's not as, not, no such thing as a standard contract. And as a property investor, there's two key skills that I want to um, uh, communicate in, in this video is, number one, it's knowing how to spot an opportunity where value can be unlocked. Yeah. And number two is getting legal control over the property. Yes. To be a property investor doesn't mean you have to buy a property, it's about getting the legal control over yeah. the property and then unlocking the value for a benefit. Fantastic. Anton, you've been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you for your time. Um, I know it's been a, a, a bit of a challenge um, trying to get all these videos done in such a short space of time. Um, but guys, um, we're going to be doing something incredible in this country where we together are going to start a groundswell of uh, new property purchases um, and we're going to create some incredible opportunities within the property sector. So keep following us, even though this is the end of the 15 ways journey, um, the, the, the 50 by 4 journey keeps going. Um, so keep following this channel, uh, keep uh, doing what we're doing. Um, but more importantly, or most importantly in my, from my perspective, don't try and do this on your own. As much as you're the one putting in the sweat equity, get a group of professionals around you and make sure that that uh, you have the people that have the skill, the know-how um, in order to help you to structure your deal, uh, to structure your company, your trusts. Um, and, uh, and then once you've done all the structuring, knowing what the end goal is, um, you can then go and start your journey uh, into property investment. Um, thank you again, Anton. Thank you to Empire Wealth for the time that we've been able to spend here with you. Um, guys, uh, keep following this journey. Our 50 by 4 challenge is just going to get more and more exciting as we get closer to the day that we start, the 1st of February 2020. Um, for now, uh, it is uh, goodbye from me, um, goodbye Anton, goodbye Empire Wealth, um, and we'll catch up with you again soon on the 50 by 4 challenge, no money down.